Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Poon here. So, I know everyone has been questioning me about how I change my brace from human to undead. So I'll be showing you how I use the program called Evermorph in this video. Um, there's a few things that can really just screw this program up and I have a few solutions that fix those problems. So hopefully everything will be smooth for you when you try to download Evermorph. Uh, I have Windows 7 and it works perfectly fine for me. So, Alright, so first of all you need to be downloading Microsoft Net Framework 4. I'll put a link to it in the description. So that's easy, download that, run that, and that's all you have to do. Moving on, you need Microsoft Visual C++ 2010. Um, when I first got Evermorph, I had 2008, I think, and yeah, I, I just crashed every time I tried to load Evermorph. So you definitely need this. Um, if you haven't recently put on your Windows 7 or whatever uh, system op operating system you have, then you most likely won't have the 2010 version. So this is really helpful, make sure you download that and that's all you need really um, if you have any other problems it could be your virus protection so disable your virus protection if worse comes to worse but it should be fine and third of all he, here's the Evermore program it's 4.3.4 .4, which is the latest patch so all you have to do is download that alright so once you download everything you can open up Evermorph but don't run the program yet just open it and now you can open up World of Warcraft alright so the way Evermorph works is you do it all through WoW so here we go we'll open up the program first where is it? Evermorph 4.3. Open the program up. It should say Evermorph loaded by Ebidox. Injection success. So if it's successful, press OK. And you can cl close this now. So if you ever get disconnected, you don't need to inject it. It's just when you completely close the application, when you completely close World of, War uh, World of Warcraft, that's when you need to re inject the Evermorph, which is easy. Alright, so the way Evermorph works is you actually do everything in WoW and you do it through chat. So basically what you type is forward slash evermorph space me and then there's a lot of codes, codes that do everything, codes for different races, you can even be bosses like I remember I was Lich King once, it was pretty cool but I just like to keep it simple and I usually go undead on most of my tunes so there's a website actually that has all of the codes needed and I'll put a link to this in the video as well. So here we go, here is female on right, so as you can see in my chat forward slash evermorph space me I paste the code in forward slash evermorph space me and yeah with the code sometimes it's buggy uh, sometimes it, there's a bit of delay with it but it will change your race either way um, and yeah a really convenient way to do this is if you, you, you can put it in a macro so for example, I have an agony macro here which has the forward slash evermorph space me space and it has the undead code. So I'll show you how it works. Uh, let's go Mel Torn real quick. Slash evermorph space me code. Oops. That's my undead, my bad. Tor Mel, this will look funny. Slash macro ever, uh, slash evermorph me. <laughs> well, that would be retarded playing as a Maltor and Warlock. Really. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, the macro is on 4, so we're going to use Agony. And there you go. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Also, guys, just really quickly, Cartoons recently made an epic dual point of view PvP montage of myself and him playing Mage Warlock Shaman against some really high rated players. It'd be awesome if everyone could check it out. Uh, I'll put a annotation on the screen so you can just click it and it'll take you straight there. Anyways, see you guys.